Hello everyone, Delightful here. I like the novel and the new, so today, let's see what the indie world has for me and you. Although, to be certain, I'm not really certain if Tainted Grail The Fall of Avalon is an indie game. The Tainted Grail might sound familiar to you. There's actually another game by Questline, the devs on this, called Tainted Grail Conquest, which is sort of a, a roguelike slash light, I'm not certain I haven't played it, card-based game with procedural generation, whereas this, this is a Skyrim-like, full on. I'm like, what is this? It came out of nowhere on me. I was like, oh, okay, I'll play this, yeah. I've cleared the demo, it's, it's pretty good. It's planned open world. The It takes you in, you ever play Oblivion, uh, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion? Well, it takes you through like a dungeon sort of environment, gets you used to it, and then cuts you loose, right? This game doesn't quite cut you loose, but it, it plans to, right? Mm. I'd like to see a bit more of the open world. This is a very early demo. Yeah, by Questline. Everything seems good. No issues. Excellent, fair ready to begin. <laughs> good. So you've noticed the, the theme here, right? They're going all in on it. It's Aetherian, right? The Fall of Avalon, Tainted Grail, remember? <laughs> you ever seen Excalibur? It seems like the devs watched Excalibur, which is like the best Arthur movie ever. Best Merlin in it. Although, that Sam Neill series around 2000 or so was really good too. Hmm. Anyway, got a new game. This is a tutorial. Well, this, yeah, this is a tutorial built into the game. King Arthur and his subjects came to Avalon many ages ago, escaping the plague ravaging the homelands, the Red Death. And the creepy children of the forest, I guess, were waiting. Okay. I turned that not to play, but yeah. Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I'm the hero of the adventure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he's solid. I'll give him that. He lacks definition, right? He's, maybe, you know, this could be a good potential first level character. Not a young man, no, but, you know, he, he's got room for definition, right? He's not unfit, right? You know, dead bod. He's dead bod. The hair. I'm like, dude, you look old. <laughs> the hair. It's, just, it's a hair. So I can change the hair a little bit. Go super trendy. No, 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 no. He doesn't look as old there. Remember, he's, he's lived a hard life, as we'll see. I can... Oh my. He's lovely. <laughs> I get lots of fun here. I don't remember seeing this. Okay. I mean, that that's a more youthful look, but he is just... He's seen some stuff, you know? So, previously, I, I guess there have been some updates because there weren't hair selections when I was last messing around here. He has no hair. I mean, that... <laughs> okay, I, I just... And this works. I mean, it's, it's you know, relatively low maintenance. Hair gets out of the way. And like in battle, you don't want someone grabbing your hair. Long hair in battle? No, no, no. Also, no beards. <laughs> the Romans have come. And they stole our beards. <laughs> Although in a combat situation, yeah, that's why the Romans uh, clean-shaved. So you can't grab someone's beard and then gut them with a gladius or something. I can name him. Or them. Uh huh. I can choose his pigmentation. Okay. He's too white. And I can also be woman, if I wish. She actually looks more cut than he does, and she is packing some heat. I'm like, oh my, you go, girl. <laughs> Why not, right? But, I mean, I mean, this guy's got potential, right? Sure, she's like, she's already on the path, I think. Let's, let's be the lower level character and. Do something about this hair. Do, do, just do something, please. Better. Better. Hard life. Now, I was going to call this guy me, but no, I, I can't. No. 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 I guess I'm not a level one character. This guy, you look at him. He's he's Mr. Average. This this is who he is. This is who we are. We are the everyman. Are you sure you want to play this character? You won't be able to change it. Hell, I can change it if I want. I'll just bring out the character. <laughs> I've already cleared the demo. I know I can. Silly game. And I'm in the dungeon. Oh, God. Oh God! See. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Oh, is it the emperor coming yes, to visit me? It's me again, and I hope this time you'll cooperate. He does not. Without me needing to repeatedly hit you in the face, eh? So he's a bad guy, you see. I ignore him. Oh, what's that? Seven commandments. Ugh, no. What's that? Can jump. W S and D movement. There is, um, it's not officially marked as gamepad support, but I was messing around with the gamepad. I actually, it was kind of working. It's just there was no button to open the inventory. So obviously gamepad support is planned. I can show you that. There's a weapon wheel. Yeah, that is console-centric design. And the inventory, it's it's like Skyrim. It's like this was designed like like this. It's, you know, a deviation from Morrowind. This Oblivion introduced this kind of system. It's to make it more friendly for controllers, right? And, you know, hey, if the controller brethren want to rock it out, let them. The mouse and keyboard will always be the more precise uh, means of interaction with a computer medium. Always will be. But, you know, it can be nice to give the mouse hand a break every once in a while, right? And not everyone was raised on it. Things seems to be going. Good, good, good. 
So is inventory, this stuff. It, it is Skyrim like pretty much, which is good. People like Skyrim. I like Skyrim. I mean, I'd like to see more depth to it, and I have to mod the crap out of it to really enjoy it, but still. This guy is just gonna wait there. He's a very, very patient guard. He would. Look, we just have to get this over and done with. Unless you want a visit from someone upstairs. And trust me, you don't. He's just like upstairs. before, no food until we're done here. And the moment you start getting on my nerves, we're going back to my tried and tested fists. So you see the game's making you hate so, this guy. Tell me, what were you doing in the forest when the Red Shields caught you? If you're noticing, it's like the game is more Oblivion than Skyrim because I can't move around when they're talking to me. It's like that super zoom in on him. It's not quite Oblivion level where I zoom in right on his face and I'm like inspecting him, but I just ignore him. Seriously? I want him to come in. We've been through this already. Don't make me come in there. Although, ironically, like, there's no actual uh, fisticuffs in the game yet, so I can't actually... If he did come in, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I should have run past him or something. Because <laughs> I, I can't attack without fi with fists, currently. It, it's a super early demo, it's fine, but... Okay, I've had enough of you. Come on in. Ah! And then I'm robbed. Like, I look forward, they build up this guy, and then he's just... The kill is stolen from me. And this guy, coming in, stealing my thunder. I always found it puzzling that these people won't bathe. You, I understand, you're literally rotting in this damned cell, but them, there's just no excuse for the stench. Yeah. Just... There they are, finally. Stealing my thunder. I know, I know, you have a million questions forming in your head, but they'll have to wait. One of these keys will open your cell. When you get out, head left. I'll scout ahead. You know I'm going right, right? I'm 100% going right. That guy comes in, steals my thunder. I'm supposed to be the cool guy who breaks out. No, he just... <clears throat> don't like him at all. He's a jerk. I open it with the key, using E. And there was no food. Liar. Although, see, I did compare to Skyrim, right? Strip him! <laughs> Can I drag the bodies? Not yet. The dun the... Okay. So I can't directly interact with the paper dolls, but obviously there are paper dolls. See, legs all twitching out. Woo! Bye-bye! <laughs> and I can't open the door again. Super early demo. You can also sprint. You can jump around. In a deviation from, say, Oblivion, which the games feel like more Oblivion than anything, I can actually dash. Which ran stamina. Which, but running does not. Puzzling. But attacking does as well. So I can't... Nope. Oh! I can push! So you do uh, left mouse and right mouse, but no push. But I can't. No punchy times, unfortunately. He wasn't trying to do that, I guess. Huh! They must have just added it. Good job, devs. I didn't see a patch, so there's... Unlisted patches. I don't. I prefer they tell me when they patch, but still, that's something you can now punch. He really chambers up and delivers that, that jab. Eh, something. That's cool. And so I got stuff right. To find stuff, I go in bag. And I can put this stuff on. I can also just do it from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll equip stuff he has. Give me no okay, cave boots. They give me anything. Six armor. Three armor, so nine armor currently. Boots seems like you should wear them, so I don't get, you know, nails or glass in my feet. That sounds like it'd be bad, right? Should be a feature, right? And a weapon. Four loadouts, notice. And I got a light club, which is actually pretty good. Push one, and I got a club. See, there you go. Control's right there. I can right click to block, like Skyrim. Light attack, and then hold it, hold left mouse button for heavy attack. Chamber up. It doesn't seem they've added the kind of sort of, was it Dark Beside Night Magic or Skyrim system, which you go, say, you go uh, S, and they'll do like a stab, feels like a sword, or to the side, he'll do like a like a Type 5 cut or smash, I guess, with this, sweeping hor uh, horizontally. But, you know, the, I, it was also a lockpicking minigame. You know, you're seeing the, the influences from the Elder Scrolls series, particularly 4 and 5. Yeah. I got the key, and this is reinforcing these these red skull guys, <laughs> red cape guys, what the hell they are. They're bad guys. There's a, there's a story if you want to watch it. They put some effort into it. If you're into that sort of thing. I'm here for the smashing. Now, you told me to go left, right? I'm intentionally going right. Hello. Oh. See, again, super awesome protagonist dude stole all my glory. He did all the cool stuff. I wanted to do it. I'll take your food, you bastard. Can I read books if you're into that? Oh my, how erotic. I'm gonna take his money, and I'll take his ale. All right, this is it's, it's a full lootathon, right? Open, planned open world because I'm stuck in the dungeon currently. First person dungeon delving, moonshine score. Scarab's having a good time. Fish soup, yuck. I'll take it. I can cook because it's uh, Skyrim like. <laughs> and see, I need raw ingredients to cook, right? Oh my, oh goodness, I've got the eyes. <laughs> Cages, see, bad guys. You see the bad guys. 
Don't feel bad about killing them. <laughs> I wouldn't anyway. Devil Snare. Those reagents is also alchemy. This is how the guy came in, but I can't go this way. I'm assuming once the game is released, maybe like alternate paths. I see even I'll talk about that when I when I get to them. But I've been through here and there are there are multiple ways of completing objectives. Like, you know, it's not just a linear disguise corridor. Uh hack and slash affair. It's not. So I can go in here. And there's nothing in here. Like if you like rooting through things, I can yeah, we don't want the poopy pail, we don't want that. A lock pick. It's a lockpicking minigame like Skyrim. <laughs> I know I'm mentioning that a lot. This game is pretty much Oblivion or Skyrim. In that I mean visually it looks more Skyrim, but mechanics wise it feels more Oblivion. In that your skills increase from use, right? I found the the ladder or the Well to keep their meat. Garlic or oh, onions, sorry. Onions old letter and lockpick. I could read that letter if I wished. I don't particularly wish. If someone wants me to I will, but you're here for the combat, right? Oh shield, thank you. Guts. This looks like more guts. So take things, mead. All valuable things. Casket, actually. This is the lockpick introduction. Yeah, Skyrim, you see? <laughs> so how you remember how to do this? You A and D. And you just gotta move it a little bit. Okay. Cause I'm, I like I do like how they show them using my knife and a pick. A letter home. Well, that sounds unfortunate. I don't think it was ever delivered. <laughs> no, I don't. Onions and garlic. Excellent. I got a shield. I have inventory. I'm going to equip said shield. Gives me a bit of block. So you can actually parry as well. Like if you do a timed block. Works pretty good. A little collision there. This is a super early demo. Like go easy on this. But I would like to also see an option for handedness. This character is obviously right handed. Not everyone's right handed. Right handed. I can pick these things, and you see the, the progress bar lower left. Theft, 10. As I do things, it will go up, and I'm assuming at some point I'll level. Amputation knife, sure, whatever. Amputation reports, I don't care. There you go. They're bad dudes. They're, they're really bad dudes, okay? We've established this. They're going to ha keep hitting it over the head, so... Everyone will pretty much get that these are bad people. So I shouldn't. it shouldn't matter that they. I'm killing them, right? Or self-defending them to death. That, that's a better description, right? Because they captured me. I was, you know, just doing my thing. Lock picks break. I intentionally showed you that. <laughs> oh, no, it broke. There we go. Thief. Level 11. Yay. So my skills increase. Yeah, yeah. Brain. Brain. The alchemical components, right? Big glass. Baskets full of nothing. So loot, 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 loot. I can loot more. Uh, but I think we've seen enough looting. Oh, no killing. I need the laboratory key. To Brother Stefan, a Sefton. I like to remind you of what I've mentioned numerous times before, namely the alchemical stations to be cleaned after each use, especially if you are careless when using caustic or toxic substances. I also recommend you refrain from your elemental knowledge about the ingredients for healing concoction. Oh, thank you. These are strong alcohol and sage. Not poisonous plants and hearts. No, bad. If this kind of negligence continues, I'll be forced to ask Father Verhan to revoke your privileges to use the laboratory. May the word of our prophet be in your grace, Brother Arden. Okay, so... Arden's got some, some beef with Surfton, I guess. Okay, good for you. But I did, if we pay attention here. Can I take the note? I can. Strong alcohol and sage creates a healing potion. Again, like Skyrim. <laughs> I don't keep mentioning that because it is pretty much a Skyrim like Oblivion like. I can quick slot, I can put these things in there, roast, I can just eat this. He has like a what I've seen it I've seen the Skyrim system defended or <laughs> described as the character as a dragonborn, right? So they have a dragon stomach. So they can instantly consume all the things in their inventory, which they're kind of sort of pre digesting, holding in their stomach. And that this is how they're able to eat like six pot roasts in the middle of a drag dragon battle to heal up. <laughs> it, it's it's absurd. You shouldn't be able to eat in combat, but currently you can. It's super early, but, you know, whatever. Again, you know, that's that dude, is, I, that's the key right there. Now, again, I could take that key and go right back there. Or I could progress another route. Most people would just loot, 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 and go, right? So I did the first time. I'm like, show me the combat! Jesus, it's been so long! Where's the fighting? But you know, there are different ways you can do things. I do think they should be combat immediately. I don't like how that dude saves me. Like, I mean, like I can't save myself. All I had to do was lure him in. He was a cocky, you know individual. And now the punching is in, I could have punched him down, right? I mean, he wasn't well off. He was drinking moonshine. Probably made, like, copper stills. Probably all crap. Ooh, mushrooms. White button mushrooms. White button and chanterelles, I believe, are edible. I'm not a mushroom master, though, so don't rely on that. I mean, I can heal them. Currently, they're now uh, critiquing the game. It's super, super early, but I have to mention it. There's an MP, right? There's no spellcasting currently. 
Which is a shame, because I like mages. Here's a different way I could progress. I'm in the laboratory. See? They're evil dudes. Have we established this? They're super evil. Welcome to Kill Station. I can just, you know, I know they're like bad dudes here. But I'm just going to show up here and <laughs> start doing alchemy stuff. Now it was Brain and Sage, right? I was seeing if I could do Sage and Brain if it was still take it. Shit, I don't know if I have Sage. Peppermint. That looks like pepper to me, but all right. Devil's Snare. So you can make poisons if you want to experiment with it. Mead. So if I were to combine mead and mm, what goes good with mead? Meat. But that's that's a cooking thing. Anything else here I want? I can't take it. Active objectives, you can see those if you wish. The mysterious knight told me to find him deep within the dungeon. I don't know he's a knight. He should have been a mysterious stranger. That's an assumption. Maybe I saw like an emblem he's wearing. Also, the AI is not very observant. They're super into their work, so I can just walk right up to this guy. Oh boy. The priest has no armor. It's not bad. Not a threat. I'm trying to do that. I don't know if the game will let me do it. See, they stagger a little bit. There we go. Staggered him. He's out. And to show off that you can, in fact, eat during combat. Yo. Oh, I can actually just push Q and just, you know, time pauses. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. Stagger him. And he's dead. So combats. These are intro enemies. That's pretty easy. And I wasn't even using the dodge. Can't air dash, unfortunately. Maybe you can learn to do that later. But you see red priests, red torture dudes. They're bad guys. <laughs> Loot the corpse because why not? Blood clot. That's disgusting. Healing potion. They're actually only twice as good as food, <laughs> which is hilarious. Slurring pitcher. I'm a big fan of healing potions actually taking animation time in a game, like very Dark Souls, right? It's like make a tactical decision when to use your Estus Flask or healing elixir or whatever. Sheep's Head. Lovely name for a mushroom, don't you think? I'd say horrifying and disgusting, but this is it's Dark Fantasy, right? Definitely, in case that wasn't abundantly clear. Like... Like, starting you out in a dungeon with Oblivion. Okay, yeah, there's a dungeon. But this is like a creepy evil dungeon. I don't know if I've been this way before. I have. So this is the priest. So he has some sort of ritual going on. He has blood channels to capture the blood. And these sort of vats, which is people he is either preserving or growing. And he is inspecting his... That dude's area. I don't know what I'm coming on to here, but I don't like it. Ugh. Die, creepy priest. Ah, uh, he dead. <laughs> no unfortunate dismemberment as of yet. Can't crush their skull or anything. Like that. Might not be what they're going for. More alchemy, yay! Spirits, yeah, take that. Empty devil snare. It's, it's got the looting down, right? It's a looter hack and slash, Skyrim like, pretty much. Let's see, have we established their bad guys yet? We fully established that. It's, I don't have to mention it anymore. Yeah. Bad dudes. Back pain remedy. Okay, thanks. So it's a stamina potion. Got it. Heart. Method of separating the mind. O okay. Yeah, it's there if you want to read it. I mean, I'll take the book. Maybe it'll be worth something. Hanging people. Lovely. 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 The second pope. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Can't take torches off the walls, unfortunately. I do have the laboratory key, so I can exit out the laboratory. No, oh, okay. See, I could have went after I got that key. I could have went up here and came this way, right? Two different ways I could have went through. Went back this way, because that dude wanted me to go left. Did I even go left? Hmm. Other things. Ah, so you gotta crouch for control. Yeah, I will slowly crouch walk down the halls, duck walking. Great. I just want to see if I missed anything because I might have. What is your problem? Thank you. But they certainly got the ambience down. Can I go through here? No. 
Piles of goodies, piles of goodies. <laughs> okay. So I killed those dudes because they're bad. And see where I am actually on the other sides of the that causeway I was over. Oh, this guy. See? I, he must not have liked these guys or he was like super involved in his work. The, the awareness on the AI isn't very high currently. Staggered. He also passively blocked. Let's stagger him and see if it's a better thing to do. He did. I take his stuff. And the cooking! I can cook things. Cooking's actually pretty easy. You just had beef, and I go, double beef. Cooked meat! And I go, onion, and... Okay, thank you. Venison, and onion. Let's just venison, onion. And meat stew. I can just make my a bunch of, air quote, healing potions. Honey! Oh, come on, come on. Garlic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pork and honey, sure. Meat stew! It's the cooking, you know, the cooking... If it seems like it'll work, it's gonna work. Like, why bother Falcon if I can just make healing potions I can just gobble down? A consumable. <laughs> a consumable. It's vegetable stew, I guess. Onions and grots and garlic. Okay, I'll make some porridge. Meat's obviously more restorative. Flour. That's just bland porridge. Milk and onion. I don't know. That's enough for now. And cooking skill is leveled up. Okay, thanks. Great. I can slot these things in. So 13 for the meat. 13 for the end. It doesn't seem to matter. Again, super early, but this the bones of a crafting system right here. So if you're looking for a Skyrim like, here it is. Cooking has reached level 12. Thank you. Thank you. Can't go out this way. I do wish there were more paths, but you know, it's fine. Open this. Now, there was something else. Here we go. Let's head down here. This is where I want to get back to. Ah, you. You. I was on the path. Irritating. See? Again. Oh, I got a bow. I don't remember that being there last time. So they are working on it. I can cook there. You can sleep there if you want, next to the dead corpse, which is, you know, always satisfying. I can play off the archery. Which I play around with the knife. The knives do feel different. See, the knife's faster. You can get about five attacks with it. One, two, three, four, five, and you can't attack while empty. Different. Yeah, when you're completely empty, you can't attack, unlike Skyrim, where you can just spam it like half attack, which is, ugh, yuck. But I got a bow. And I have how many arrows? What if I shoot something porous? I can retrieve the, I cannot retrieve the arrow. Shame. Oh well. We'll play out the archery. This guy. You took your sweet time, eh? But I understand. I did too when I was leaving this place for the first time. You have to admit, the Red Priests are quite resourceful when it comes to death and dying. Oh, I don't believe this. I'm finally blessed with someone who understands the situation they're in, and doesn't ask stupid questions that can wait for a better moment. I'm told this path leads to the beach. I don't know how, but if it's true, then I'll wait there for you until dusk. Good luck. You know, you'd think, like, where is he going? How did he go here? Did he, like, come down through it and creep through? He doesn't think I can creep through. And I guess he's gonna go the path I do? I, I don't know. Whatever. Super early demo. Mm. So now we gotta head down here. Brick hammer, another alternate weapon. It's pretty fast attacking, but for the mace. Can I get back up there? No, no mantling currently. Don't know if it's blind or not. Now, you might as well sprint everywhere because it's not draining stamina, right? Now, again, this is the era I was thinking about when I talked about alternate means of progressing beyond the... As we've seen with the, the laboratory room, you can get the key, head back up or go in, or head down and go through the caves. Here, I can go straight on or creep through here. There's no reason to creep because his awareness is junk. He's, he's venerating the statue. The environments do look really good, though. I don't care about that book. The note to the father. Yeah, yeah. Some beard plasma. Hmm. Pretty cool dungeons. Like, I could completely bite. Well, not completely, but. Hello. He's got an actual sword, huh? Come on, one more hit. No. 
Bye bye. Tainted red one. Oh god. Horrible. Get a diary. There's a button here. I thought this was a bug at first. It's not. It's like I push it and it's like phasing in, but it doesn't complete right the vines. It's not a bug. You'll see. Good looking game, right? Like serpents up there. More vines over here. Can't cut through them. So I use a knife. The dagger. Maybe I'll use the dagger. Maybe I'll use a dagger. Can't cut through. Has more attacks though. A bit faster. Head down this way. Deeper into the cave network. It's like an alien ruins feel from Oblivion. Which is good. I was Oblivion was overrated. It's just this horrible leveling system where everything was scaled, ruined it. With the absent mods. I get him with that? I did not. Some faster it is. Why well, you just DPS stagger him? It's wild. Oh, I think I'm being hit. Yum, yum, yum. Someone hit me? No. Hmm. It's horrible. Ugh. Don't join that faction. Hard. It's horrible. Oh, I can also push the Gallic on me. I'll try that. Oh, yeah. He shield slams them. Nice. A very promising, very early demo, though, I thought. So I think I'd show it. Hmm. Again, reiterating the fact we're not dealing with nice people. They're bad dudes. Yes, maybe I should clearly touch that. That's a good idea, right? Touch the creepy idol. Four dwellers can create things from weirdness. That's that odd sort of stone I was collecting. I don't remember you from there. You being here last time. So I just ran through this yesterday, and I'm seeing changes. That's cool. Oh. No, we're not in Narnia, and we'll never be on the plane that. Yeah, Mordor's pretty cool, though. Bad dudes live there, though. Pretty cool dream area. To the tower. Hmm. Makes you think it's almost Camelot. Because remember, it's out there in legend, so. That's the motif we're going for. Mythological Camelot. <laughs> Hello, what's that? I want that. It's a glittering stone. It's actually a necklace. Gives me magic armor by 50. I don't. It says increases magic armor by 50. I don't have any magic armor, though, so I don't know. It just gives me more armor, I think. I believe. I'm uncertain. Really? <laughs> okay. So I did, they did go all in on the, the scene setting and immersion and stuff like that. Button. Ah, this one doesn't seem to work either. But maybe we have to do something else, right? Some people might get stuck here. The buttons do work. You have to do something else before we can go to the Coliseum, the old ruined Roman Coliseum. Coliseum. Roman era, I should say. <laughs> I just thought of something. When I was first going over this, right? I'm like, you look at the shapes of these guys. You had to know there was like there has to have been a discussion, like so. Do we draw the butt? <laughs> it was like, no, 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 don't draw the butt. No one's going to go there. <laughs> so they put pants on him. <laughs> I thought that was funny. This guy get a butt. <laughs> it's the silliest thing. Michelangelo would put a butt on it, right? <laughs> I've been waiting a go. long time for someone to find me. Are you here to help me leave this place? Who could it be? To the face. Hmm. And I have to ask him all these things. I've been here for what seems like an eternity. I feel I am getting restless. They did a good job with the voice acting. I just wish I could skip some of it. I might be. I do not know. Was I sent here for a reason? Did I end up here by accident? Like you. I don't think it was an accident, buddy. I was sent down this path by that, that dude who keeps kill stealing all my stuff. Why are you here? The dude, man, I just told you. Eh, uh, creepy statue. A man here. A man would explain the weirdness surrounding us. Okay. 
You ever seen Excalibur? Who am I? What is the secret of the Grail? Who could it be? I wish I could answer. I cannot remember. I know I am not complete. I remember I once knew who I was at some point, but I do not anymore. I just am. Yeah. I do not know. I think it is some kind of prison deep in the weirdness. I'm contemplating this. Maybe I should... You are looking for a way out yourself. Sorry. I think we might be able to help one another with that. I shall do something now. But trust me, the discomfort will be worth the outcome. I need to warn you. Temporal hold unlocked. Yeah, to get a really cool superpower. You'll see. Okay, and now, now I go use it. It's like that. Doing that. Let me do. Turn to activate the buttons, right? So watch this. Ugh. Ha ha! See, now the vines are forming, and I can go over here to the Coliseum. Ugh. Okay, it's all fabricating. And the sword? Is it? It's like it's Excalibur? Is it? Is it? No, no it's just dull, crappy sword that looks super cool. I take a super crappy sword. And, oh no. They want to keep their crappy sword. Look at I. Well, show me. This guy's nothing, actually. Cutting down the dull blade. Sword doesn't look dull. It looks actually very nice. But, oh yeah, they show me middle mouse button. I have a temporal hold. Did you ever play Max Payne? They just gave me bullet time. <laughs> yes, they did. Because the game wasn't easy enough as is. Boy, bye. I murder everything. And it has a. There we go. And that's not even a magic system, right? That's just. I am sorry, I did not ask for your permission to do that. That's okay. I'm used to being but I hope it was worth it, as promised. This sword. I found a bit of emptiness within your heart, a place where I could dwell for a while. Cool, cool. It seems that I am a piece of a shattered soul, judging by my abilities. I used to belong to what your kind would call a four-dweller. Hmm, maybe it's someone else. I have already told you, I need your help to leave this place. And when we are out of here, I will need your help finding the rest of me. To make me whole again. I feel I am but a shadow of what I once was. Ah, another Excalibur reference. I see it. Look for what is left of me whenever you step into the weirdness. I know your kind tends to avoid it, but Ooh. you do not have to be afraid. I will be your shield against the darkness. Yeah, because the game like super cool time stop powers or time slow powers. I will try to help as much as I can. But I need you to hold up your end of the bargain. Now, I want to loot first. I will. Thank you. We shall meet again then. Find the weirdness and look for me within the darkness. Okay. Oh, I can. Okay. Yeah, and he makes a portal for me. Looks good, right? I think so. We take all these crappy swords. Poor bastards. So I don't join the Red Kelp people. They're bad dudes. Looks really good. Nice god rays. I was thinking, listen to those guys talk like that. Maybe I should just like purposely drag out my syntax. Talk as slowly as possible. <laughs> I drive myself crazy doing that. <laughs> so, let us push the button. <gasps> the vines. They have disappeared. <laughs> it's just absurd. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, these ones... These ones did not. That was the other way I went. So they're, they're funneling me. That's fine. That's fine. I want on. I wonder. Slow time power. No, I can't get through. Okay. Can I actually deactivate the slow time power sooner if you want to save it? And that note that does not drain mana. It's like you know how the dragon shouts. It's a supplementary magic system when the character has. Well, mostly all the character has because the dragons had it too. Spoiler in Skyrim and one other guy. The other dragonborn. I mean, it's been like a decade. I'm sure people would have seen it by now. Cool, right? Let's sprint. Cool.
cool area, right? So I, I go here and... Oh, missed opportunity. Secret wall. My agility has increased. Yep. Yeah. So, you ever play Morrowind? The game encourages you to run around like a crazy man. You are a bunny man. You run around hopping and jumping because it will raise your stats. <laughs> in, in Morrowind, it works like that. Um, you'll increase your athletics by running around and your yeah acrobatics by jumping. And this lets you take less fall damage when you're falling off Red Mountain or fleeing from hordes of cliff racers. Look at this. That's super cool, right? It's like... This is super high tech. Wow. And then, my goodness, what are those? <gasps> titans! Yes. Apparently, undead titans. Should I what? Should I. I mean, I, I just need to know. Can I have like a super cool back ride? No. Like, no, you're not supposed to do that. It's like, okay, fine. Because uh, it's a suck spot. I would not be able to get back up. See? That's probably a bit of the thing I have to find, right? So, like, they're putting me through, and I probably have to come back here later, right? That's what I do. Alright, I'm designing this place. Because it's so cool, and there's so many areas you could go that you currently cannot. <laughs> <gasps> Another colorful thingy. Now, I did have a stuck spot when I went down the stairs and was messing around the side of it. I fell through the world. Just don't do that. I mean, the game saves pretty aggressively. I don't feel the need to show it, but I mentioned it. Super early demo, nothing to hold against him. This guy, he's not facing away. Let's see how dumb he is, though. If I... Oh, he saw me. Okay. He has a two-hand sword. He missed that, huh? Oh, he's got cool stuff, too. But he's not as cool as me. Because I can... I get bullet time. And pace yourself. Was he blasting me? Well done, buddy. No... One, two, three. Bye bye. Huh, he had something different. Last time he didn't have that. A bolt of. I don't know. It looks like a page. A bolt of Kalan. It's magic. They just gave me magic. And I, I cleared this, and there was no magic. So, again, they're actively developing. It's. I, I equipped it like a sword, like a weapon. That's cool. Okay, okay. I, I like this. And to show off the sword it looks nice, but it's crap. Six to eight. Dagger's much better. So if I go Bolt of Kalan. It looks like I'm throwing like magic dust to you. I kinda like that. It's like wrinkle time! <laughs> the guy's like, ah god, my eyes! <laughs> Where did you gain such power? I often remember to toss something in someone's eyes, right? That's that that's the magic. <laughs> And then, okay, I escaped. Is that a bunny? No, it's just a pile of super grim bones. Creepy. Yeah. A final reminder that those were bad dudes. And it was okay to kill them. Right? On the beach. So there's a little taste of what the open world's going to be like. You wander around. You pick up reagents. You explore. I was looking for mud crabs. Mud crab? Mud crab? No. Nice soil walking sound. Flex has increased because I run around like a crazy man. There needs to be an auto run ability because it doesn't drain stamina. And walking around, the only purpose it would serve is to sneak. But the enemy awareness is junk down. So. It should just be an auto run command. And you can just toggle it off if you want to sneak. I'll pick up the daffodils because why not? That's where I came from, right? The markings. There's a little area up here you can explore. The cliff face. I really? I don't remember this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it a different one? It. Is it? Maybe? Come on, come on. No, no, no. There are sometimes hmm, invisible walls. This is the one I came from. Okay, so the other one's different. Let's go check out the other one. I didn't see that last time. Again, they're actively developing. They could have added it. It's magic. Okay, cool. And mana, does mana come back? No, no, mana does not regenerate like stamina. Interesting, I like it, I like it. So that would mean you might want to actually use mana potions. Are mages lushes in this? In some mana magic systems, like booze gives you mana. A little bit. One. One. 
So you, you really gotta work on your drunkard levels to, to be able to really cast the spells, really cast the magic, right? Then you ask the question, are you actually casting magic or are you just imagining you are? Because you're that drunk. <laughs> Interesting, right? Okay. A little... Hmm. Hello. Were they living in here? Sage. Okay, so I can make stuff in here. Uh-huh. See, more bad dudes were here. Or cannibals. Maybe they think it's okay to eat the red priests? I don't know. They don't look hygienic to me. You. Hermit's Diary. Healing potions. The healing potions are only twice as effective as the food. Yeah. I'd say potions should be able to eat in combat, and the food should heal gradually over time until your food's stomach's full or whatever. Feathers. So you're probably the crafting of arrows, right? I didn't see this before. Like, it literally could not have been here. They could have just added it. Amphora baskets. Mm, cool. And that's where I'm supposed to go, right? Over there. So I'm trying not to go there. Because once you go in that boat, the fun's all over. I know. I do wish the demo was more open world, but it's a super early demo. I'm sure they'll put out another one later. But even now, I think it's worth showing. I wish there was some more battles out here so I could test the magic. Because, like, the game of the magic, but I have nowhere to use it. Right, no one actually attack with it. I don't know how much. It does 9 to 14. There we go. Explodes in a small radius and deals damage. The Bolt of Kanan. 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 Hello. Red Priest. And he had some maps. But, it's, but the world is silent. I found a letter that describes heresies happening on the island asylum. The prior might be interested in this discovery. He might be. I don't know who that is, though. We'll find out some point so demo gets bigger so a lot of areas I can explore I didn't look in this it's empty but this one I did I did it's the side of it but it was cracked in half it was tossed on the, the rocky rocky beach so I'm guessing the storms right well the boat was flying <laughs> post storms no no fall damage doesn't seem so. Drowning? I can go in water. There's a water bar. Cool. Check out that cave there. I don't see a lot of fish. It's nice. Or eels. I go with eels, right? A lot of fish is too expected. Oh, it's just a little camp. Ah. There he is. Well. Now that we're all here, meet your new comrades. Whoa. Conquer in Syria. Get some rest, people. And prepare for the journey. We're leaving at dusk. Not so fast, brother. I'm not getting near a goddamn hmm. boat unless I know where I'm going. Away from here, brother. Isn't that enough? A few wish. But since we're all here and we have some time to kill, it would be nice if you finally explained what the hell's going on. You've helped us leave our cages, great. But even though we're grateful, you owe us an explanation. What do you want from us? To show some damn gratitude for one thing. Caradoc, we weren't born yesterday. No one would risk getting into trouble with the priests for nothing. Why did you save us? I need you to kill King Arthur. You're insane. <gasps> He's insane. The King Arthur that has already been dead for 600 years, King Arthur. Precisely. But he's dead. You probably wouldn't have heard about so, Lord Dunn, this is Lord tribes, Dunn. little picked. But every single time things go down you want the shit The voice acting is good, though. A bunch I'll of show cowards it. in Camelot bring our once and future king back from it's the dead. K, that's so trendy. It's happened before. It will happen again. And soon. Great. What a load of... <sighs> ah, fine. Have it your way. Let's say I believe you. You can't be serious. He believes that. There's no point in arguing with a madman. But that still doesn't explain why you saved us, Caradoc. 
I wish I knew why I was ordered to save you three specifically. So he's just a glorified blade. Got it. So he's a flavored blade. See it in the, the Roman-esque attire he's wearing. On my boat, so. you won't question mine. Understood? And military. See how authoritative he is. Now rest. The tide's not right just yet, but it will break and start working in our favor. You're not liking these sort of story-focused games. But where are we going? A speed-up exactly. option on the dialogue. To I can just skip it. The but south. They talk. Nice. Well, a bunch of glorified fishermen who hate my people. Why would we stop there? Do they teach you, Del Rida, anything? Team more Lord Dumping. To take the Excalibur, obviously. Obviously. He's truly. He's good voice acting, though. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Now pin these emblems to your clothes. They will grant you free passage to the horns. And get some it is just upsetting. You they give you these like things, but then the moment I take that boat, the demo ends. A long journey ahead of us. This isn't. Yeah. It's like you build up and then nope. So yeah, so I'll show you. I don't want to talk to these people. Thank you for playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. So this is Tame to Grail the Fall of Avalon demo. Like one thing I really like is an ability to speed up their dialogue. It's it's super slow. I I know the voice actors are good, but it seems like they're chewing their lines a bit. I don't know. But I talk fast though. So. Anyway, this is Tainted Grill, the Fall of Avalon demo. I think it was worth showing, even this early state. And I'm probably going to check in once in a while, once they add more things. Like, I, I played this game yesterday. There was no magic, for instance. I mean, I didn't have a chance to use it on anyone. I'd like to be able to, like, have, like, a beat zone I can fight in. They're going to work on that. Obviously, they've given you an idea here. The early access release will feature an open world area. Should give you around 10 to 15 hours of playtime. Blah, blah, blah. And there'll be more. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye.